Yo, 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 yo. You know what it is, man. It's your favorite channel. This CTB. This Chance Out Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slay. Say what up to him, man. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. Let's keep this channel going. You know why? Because we love boxing and you love boxing. Most definitely, most definitely. This is the place where the fight fans come to get the delicious entrees of boxing knowledge. And what's in the menu for them today, bro? It's a lot of confusion going on right now with this WBA belt, man. It seems like Manny is has been elevated again to the Super WBA champion. Let's talk about it. Cool, man. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man. I'm confused about the whole situation, man. As it sits right now, currently, from, coming from ESPN, they have it's three WBA champions currently. Listen on ESPN. Uh, they got Jamal James as the regular, but then they have, also have Ugas as a regular. But then they have Pacquiao as the super. So the confusion lies to me is, what, what are they going to do? Are they going to de-elevate somebody? Or are they going to just make an extra belt? What, what is your opinions on the WBA? Why are they doing this? Why are they causing so much confusion? And what, what started the confusion? Okay, uh, pretty much Manny Pacquiao has been in and active for over two years. And the W he was holding pretty much the WBA belt hostage. And if he's not gonna fight, the WBA is not making money. So pretty much they to me, they put him again an automative, like either you're gonna fight a big fight or we're gonna elevate somebody else's champion. And January the thirtieth, around that time period, they made Ugas the super champion and took uh made uh Manny Pacquiao the champion in recess. So, once that happened, Jamal James apparently moved up to the regular champion. But, as of yesterday, it seems like between ESPN and also Boxing Rec, it seems like uh, Manny Pacquiao has been elevated to the super champion. And Ugas has been demoted to the regular champion. And Jamal James, as of right now, is the interim champion. Mm -hmm. So... The reasoning behind it is, to me, it's simple. It's a huge fight that's going to bring in a lot of money. And for people that's not familiar with how it works, it's this thing called sanctioning fees. And pretty much, if you hold a belt and you're a champion, the the body, uh, the belt body of WBA, WBO, WBC, or the IBF, they get a percentage of your purse if you're holding that belt. Manny Pacquiao is probably going to make north of $40 million that fight. The WBA wasn't going to miss out on that money. And they look at it as if he loses, Earl Spence gets the belt. And he's also a pay-per-view star from here on out, pretty much. And he and every fight that he's in is going to make major money. So it made sense, I understand. It kind of sucked for Ugas because he just got promoted to super champion. But I mean, this is just the game of boxing, man. So I don't think it's a surprise. So right now, it looks like we're going to have a unification belt with a Super WBA, the WBC, and the IBF on the line. Yeah, you just made me think about that, too. I didn't think about it earlier. <clears throat> Everybody's talking about how Crawford got, got the shit into the stick and how Crawford was fucked over by Pacquiao's decision. But really, Ugas is probably the, the biggest loser in this in this situation because he he was pretty much looking for a fight with Errol Spence to unify and negotiate in a fight so now he's pretty much being cut out and losing his belt at the same time without even fighting for it he pretty much uh, even though he even though he was granted the super champion he was still considered the, the regular champion so he still was considered the champion so now he's pretty much been demoted again back to the regular champion without a unification in place and it kind of fucks him over because even if he does fight like say if he fight Crawford now, say if he does fight Crawford for the same WBA title, it still wouldn't matter because Errol Spence would be the super champion if he beats Pacquiao. Yeah. So, so whoever whoever Ugas fights, or whoever Ugas fights, whether he keeps the belt or loses the belt, he pretty much got a shitty end in the state. With that being said, man, what's 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 your opinion with this these boxing politics, man, and all these belts, man? What's they they say they use it to keep the casuals entertained, but what is what is it doing in your opinion to the super the super fans like you and me? I hate it because it's, it's diluting the the accomplishments of the fighters and the accolades. It, it, by you adding all these belts, it, it's making it hard to see who the real champion is. 
you know, they, it, it's more, it's more, it makes the sport more competitive when you have less belts. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the regular, the super, and the franchise belt. Even with the situation with um, um, Lopez and Haney, you got ESPN going out there saying that Lopez is the undisputed champion of the world. He's not. He he's he does he is not the WBC champion. Devin Haney is. But he's going around talking about I'm the um I'm the champion because he got this made up franchise belt that they just made in this for pretty much uh Canelo and uh Lomachenko. So he yeah. pretty much has that belt. So it's just causing too much confusion, man. I wish they would just go back to one belt for each one for the WBO, the IBF, the WBC and the uh, IBF. IBF and the WBA. I just want them to go back to just one belt, man. Just one belt and and put it much a mandatory. You can be the number one mandatory spot, but to make these guys, you know, the, the top three spots, you got the regular, the super, the the interim champion, the franchise champion. And, and, and like you said, you, you're trying to bring in casuals, but casuals don't understand that, so they they confused about who's a real champion. So right now, in the, in the um, situation with the WBA, if I'm a casual, I'm saying is Jamal James the, the, the champion? Is is Ugas the champion, or is it Manny Pacquiao? And how did they win it? How do you get the regular? How do you get the intern? How do you get the franchise? So you causing too much confusion. Let's go back to simplifying it, man, and just have one belt for each organization. Yeah, I agree. But I don't think the casuals really gonna know who Jamal James is, or even the Ugas, to be honest. So they they don't even understand the political aspects of it but it comes to them because all they see is Manny Pacquiao I think you have a bigger name if you have a bigger name on your on your belt which is what the section bodies want you can get away with anything but like you can pretty much elevate anybody with a big name to any champion that you want mm-hmm. w, like you said earlier about the WBC they proved that when they elevated Canelo to a uh, franchise champion which is the only reason why they did that was because Canelo denied their belt at one point because they were trying to force him to fight Triple G at one before he was ready to so he's like, fuck that belt. I'm not fighting Triple G until I'm ready to. And then pretty much shit on WBC. So the, the kiss his ass, WBC said, you know what? We're going to make you a, a, a franchise <laughs> champion. You can fight whoever you want, Canelo. Here you go. Let's keep our name. Let's keep our title with you and your big name. And give them sanctioning fees. And give them sanctioning fees. So they did the same thing for Lomachenko. And like, like I said right now, Lomachenko lost his belt to... Uh, to Lopez, so now they're doing that the same thing for Lopez. They're elevating him to a uni- uh, unified champion, uh, undisputed champion. But Devin Haney has the belt, the, the same the WBC belt, which is it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so that's my opinion on it, man. I, I just feel like the same way you feel. It's just too many belts, man. It's, it's too much confusion when it comes to us regular fans. And to be honest, to see to see a good fight. Me personally, I don't need to see a belt on the line to see a good fight. Like for the Earl Spence, Manny Pacquiao, I really don't need to see Pacquiao with the belt on the line because I know who Pacquiao is. I know Pacquiao is a legend. He don't need the WBA. If I'm Pacquiao, I'm gonna say I'm not paying y'all session fees. My name sells itself. You mm-hmm. don't need to say Manny Pacquiao WBA champion on, on my. I don't need a belt on my waist for the viewers to watch me. They're gonna watch yeah. me anyway. That, that's a. That's exactly why you saying that. That's exactly what Mayweather did in his career. He pretty much dropped all the belts. And he just fought, but he didn't keep the belts. He let him go because he got tired of paying the sanctioning fees. He didn't yeah. have to. He didn't have to have the belts. Everybody knew who Mayweather was. Yeah, exactly. I think Pacquiao. He's he's not out as not as outspoken as Mayweather is. So Pacquiao is going to give. You know, he's going to play along to get along pretty much. It's just his personality. But but if I was Pacquiao, I wouldn't. I'd be like, nah, just keep Ugas. You know what I'm saying? Keep Ugas as the, as the champion. I didn't. We didn't fight for the belt, so keep Ugas as the champion. Let me go get this money. I'm gonna get forty million dollars regardless, whether it's WBA about my, my waist or not. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this money anyway. <laughs> so, 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 do you feel like? Um, I mean, it's saying it from the other angle. People may say, "Well, Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman. He he earned that belt. While Ugas didn't fight for it, he just was promoted. So now that Manny Pacquiao has stepped up, because they said one of the excuses that he that he probably used was the pandemic." stop him from making a big fight and now that it's opening back up in june the first he was able to make the big fight and that's why he got his belt back and was able to make the big fight with earl spence so from his angle he may say well i beat keith thurman i earned that belt and now i'm giving to fight earl spence so i should be able to defend my belt rather than ugas who was just promoted and didn't fight anybody to get it so i see it from both sides yeah i do but if you if you make rules or this is how i see it. if you make rules you can't bend those rules because you want your name attached to a fighter that's all i'm saying like i understand the point of giving pacquiao the belt i understand from all three sides i understand from the money side 
understand for catching the casual side and I understand for Manny Pacquiao side. But I feel for the Uga side. Like I said, you 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 only lost to pretty much uh, Porter in a close fight. And you was waiting for a neck for a big fight with either Spence or Pacquiao. You was waiting for those two names to give you a call for your belt. And they pretty much duck you all around and still and you still lost your belt. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta decide that's how I feel about it. I just I just well, I understand it. I just don't. I don't appreciate it. If that makes any sense. Like I said, it is. It is what it is. Me, like I said, me personally, I'm, it's not gonna make me not watch the fight. It's not gonna make me. You know what I'm saying? It don't really shit my opinion about the matter anyway. Because I didn't. I didn't. I'm not watching it for Pacquiao to lose the title. Like I don't need to see Errol Spence win another belt because he beat Pacquiao. To me, he just beat Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? That in itself is a, a championship in my eyes. But it's just me. You know what I'm saying? to this topic, man. All this confusion. No, just. Breaking news from CTV, you hear it here first that apparently there will be three belts on the line when Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence fights on August 21st, it seems. But we, we get some more news, we'll update you, but from um, Boxing Rat and ESPN, apparently it'll be the WBA now with the WBO, I mean WBA with the IBF and the WBC on the line. There you have it, man. This is your favorite channel, man. Like I said earlier, this is CTV, Chin Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy Jay Slay. Say peace to him, man. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. Let's keep this channel growing. You know why? Because we love boxing and you love boxing. Logo at the bottom of the screen. Just click on it and subscribe. And most of all, God, peace and love. And we out of here.